one! <laughs> it's Ethan! <laughs> We're sliding blind. Sliding blind right into what it looks like an incredible team. Um, yeah, we're filming this, too. I guess, is it postpartum? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if that's what it's uh, used. Yeah, like after the death of our last team, um, because uh, <laughs> I'm editing the episode before this, which is a, just a lot of gameplay that we will voice over at some point. Um, yeah, big time conundrum here. Trust me, I'm... I'm <laughs> I'm also struggling with it. <laughs> Ethan's a master editor. Master editor. Uh, so it's taken me yeah. a little bit long to... <laughs> we, uh, to... we wanted to <laughs> to grind our way through some gameplay just to get to a better division to start getting some rewards so we could get a good team. But then again, now we kind of have a good team. Yeah, uh, speaking on that, uh, you'll see in the previous episodes, I was at the gym and they released the... At, <laughs> at, <laughs> that's in the previous well the screenshot from my phone it's gonna be me it's gonna be on my phone i just want to be like i wasn't on my xbox i was on my phone uh because I, I was i was i was gonna sick bicep pump and then i opened the Fair. preview 25 k pack and got a uh, headliner's akuna and i'll try it yeah it that will also be in this episode just like as i don't know so you can see it i guess um yeah. and we i sold, mean it's the only good yeah. thing <laughs> we're gonna pack all year so yeah. you guys will flex it uh it's yes. gonna be our intro to it every is, video it is it's just gonna be well he pretty much is our god he created this yeah. team so. club legend yeah uh club legend yeah, i sold him for about 90k and then let us make quite a few upgrades here as you can see and um so we've successfully i think got two division six uh, you're I'm, in Division I'm 6. In division I'm six. just outside. Yes. I think I'm a win away. Yeah, we're a couple wins apart uh, because you'll see in the... Me. Yeah, I had to play uh, two games to um, get enough coins to do the draft token SBC because I wanted to try a draft on this account. How did that go? Um, that will probably never be a video. <laughs> um, I think, that well, huh? Yeah, I think... I don't think I should say some things. <laughs> when, okay. When, when we'll, we'll just say yeah. that Ethan went into the draft, did so well that they gave him a full icon team uh, as a reward, and we thought it would ruin the series. And I donated to it to that. charity. Yeah. I picked a kid with no legs yeah. and gave it to him. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> no. He's so. Still, he still <laughs> is not being fed, but. Yeah, no. He's well, got a sick ultimate team. He has a sick ultimate team and no legs. So, do you want to introduce our topic for today? Uh, our topic for the day is dating apps. Um, Exciting. Yeah, me and Sean here. Uh, surprisingly, both heterosexual men. <laughs> <And a woman. laughs> so, oh, I thought you were going to say surprisingly single. <laughs> also, surprisingly single. And if any yeah, ladies if watch this, ready to mingle, put your snap in the comments. Um, <laughs> if it's believable that the two guys uh, <laughs> that are choosing to make FIFA content with their friend thousands of miles away don't slay puss are... <laughs> I don't understand why you would ever think that. Yeah. So, uh, do you, so do you have dating apps currently and if so which ones um no I, I my therapist told me to get rid of them <laughs> <laughs> told you to get rid of them yeah that's uh, probably good advice it is good advice um it's detrimental to your mental health like i think a lot of the time yeah uh because especially for me Derek i think it's like i don't think i'm dad by yeah. any yeah. means but like i guess they're just very vain things rivals. and for you to be successful on them you have to be vain like you have to see yourself in a certain way which is great because i am yeah and like picture yourself as a certain way so yeah. um well the way that everyone pictures me which is amazing yeah right same same here so i yeah, don't so, have them anymore but i have like experience with them quite a bit in the past okay. years so i do currently have a tinder and a bumble um i <laughs> go on tinder more than bumble and to be honest it's mostly just 
for the act of swiping. Yeah. Um, Not so much necessarily looking for a date or anything out of it, but it is fun to swipe. It is fun to swipe. Also, like, you oddly run into quality. someone you know sometimes, an and then it's like, yeah. And then next time you see them, like, hey, you know, saw you on Tinder. And then they reject <laughs> you in person. And that's even. Yeah, better. no. So. If, if I see someone that I know on Tinder, I go, block, 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 block. No, um, so, um, no I, I have also had Tinder and Bumble. Uh, Hinge was a lot of work. They asked like way too many fucking questions. I did not. <laughs> Tell me. Uh, did you not get far into Hinge? Because um, I filled out the anything thing, really but it about literally it. asked you like twenty fucking questions about yourself. Because like I guess what you can like so it's you don't you can't like just like a photo. There's like questions like what's your favorite food, and you can also like swipe right on that. I guess like technically. What? Yeah. <laughs> What just happened? I don't know. I didn't. I, I tried to block across with by oh, pressing did you? B. Oh, and it's making me do. And it. I guess I gotta give up a penalty for it. Uh, all right. You let us down. Thanks, Sean. Um, <laughs> no, so it asks you like a lot of questions, like uh, like favorite, like weird topics, or like uh, what's your ideal Saturday night, and you could like mm -hmm. swipe right on something about that. Um, and then when you swipe, you leave a comment also. So it's like okay. you swipe and you're like, man, I also like pepperoni on pizza. Um, and I don't, I just thought it was a lot of work. It's like, yeah, uh, like I don't want to. And where, where does that fall in the like expectations of what the app is for? Because like Tinder is obviously okay, like so in my, the Tinder bubble or Tinder bumble sphere. Tinder would be like the one that's more associated with hookups, and Tinder, Bumble would be the one. The that no, is there is an answer. Maybe to more this. meaningful. There is an answer to this. Okay. Tinder is for horny men. Bumble's for horny okay. women. Hinge is for people who are trying to date. Really? Okay. Yes. Bumble is filled with desperate chicks. At least from <laughs> my experience um, <laughs> so you know like thank god right? <laughs> yeah. um no it is um they're terrifying so. okay <laughs> yeah no um that's the only times i've ever really been like creeped out on dating apps is i bumble i thought the chicks were like oddly looking for something i guess yeah like they send you some uncomfortable messages mm -hmm. Like, do you have a 401k? I'm like, fuck. <laughs> what, uh, what age, what age range do you have set? Uh, 45 and up. No. <laughs> oh. There's like 18 to 25, I guess. I think it's like yeah. the one it is. Because I guess I'm 22. I think. So uh, that's yeah. a, like a reasonable. I, right now what I have set on mine um, is like, I think 20 to 35. Damn. Yeah. I don't. I don't mind the idea. I mean, I. I'm. I don't think I've ever matched with anyone. I would make a great. That would have been like myself. more than a year older than. <laughs> it's more. I'm not gonna. I'm not looking to limit myself. Right. But also, I like to keep it. Like as soon as I turned 22, I was just realized that. There's no way that I'm gonna match up with someone who is an incoming freshman to college. Yeah. Mm -hmm feel in any way normal interacting with them it's just such a different <laughs> mindset for sure yeah even though like, it's really only like two or three years difference you know i guess mm -hmm. um i guess for us four but yeah um but it, it just it, whenever you're all in school together and they're just entering this big step and i'm getting ready to kind of become an adult <laughs> terrifying it feels way further than four years <laughs> And yes, that is terrifying. Oh, okay, short king. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no. So that's my opinion on the big three. Uh, Who can he pick out? You know. So. <laughs> what would you say is your greatest well, asset that you can advertise to people on a on a dating app? If we can tap into like the as field. a like specifically me or like what men should. Be? What can they do from here? Uh, I guess both. Okay. So for well, me personally, chance. I guess my best much. asset is yeah. probably 
like in a very vain sense like that well, the hosts i have had most of the ball built, in the last 15 I minutes and created a nice. um, you were you were that that yeah that's it right um, to make it count. so that Pretty and that's like not hard to advertise um I personally yeah. am very bad at small talk, from the ideal pass. so Fair. Uh, that is like something I really I struggle with on, on dating apps. Is that like it's a uh, I don't know how to have a conversation with someone if I don't Obama know. Young. I guess. Like, yeah, I, I also certainly yeah. don't know how to start a conversation on a dating app. Yeah, because like you're really both there probably for the same reason. You know, it's not yeah. like <laughs> not a secret. So, <laughs> um, so that's that would be. I guess that and then but I think well, most men should try to advertise something that makes them stand out I think a lot of men think that they can just put what they do on an average day and women are gonna think that's good enough <laughs> I guess <laughs> uh which is a, a bad thing to say I guess but that's just how the world works so <laughs> yeah I mean whenever you're on a dating app there's there's a sea of options yes and um, and if you're just average i guess no one's gonna right no one's gonna swipe um if you like to do interesting things uh right you know like advertise that uh, you know what what my answer to those questions would be what would it be my greatest asset is that i am at six feet <laughs> that's a big thing on dating apps it is it is um, I a lot actually, of people... in most of my bios, I actually put uh, that I'm the only 5'11 man in the world. So, no. <laughs> which I wow. think is funny. But <laughs> I, I think that's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, because like, like most Common men, for people to lie about. most men if they're five eleven, just say they're five six. I'm very proud of my height. Right. I'm like or six much, foot. <laughs> I'm like dead on. Five Not five 11. six. So, <laughs> right. Yeah. And then. Uh, thing that all men should do is just find a dog and take a picture with it yes um <laughs> dead animals don't do that um, no probably not yeah, unless like That's, i guess i mean like there are people that are into it i see plenty of uh, like living in the south Let's see what they have. i see plenty <laughs> of girls that are, have yeah. dead animal pictures and you're like, that's, and that's for me I, I know that there are people out there that they will get along well with but I immediately swipe <laughs> left myself. Um, yeah, no. Um, but al also, because we mentioned the, the height, I feel like if we had the, if I had to boil down the average uh, bio that I tend to see, it would probably be swipe left if you're under six feet. Uh, I watch The Office. <laughs> Please be my gym. <laughs> yeah yeah be the gym for my pan right and then they have some exactly or they have an office like timestamp in there that is always right. to the same episode like it's exactly yeah. the same episode <laughs> um it's or a, it's a personality yeah and a unique one too <laughs> it's uh yeah it's it's an amalgamation. is that the word uh, amalgamation, um, amalgamation, I believe. Yes, of what you're looking for, yeah, of pretty much the, the same. Yeah. Are ready to have a go at each other so. again as the and uh, how how is life off of the dating apps? And um, are I'm you really... not searching at all, or are you having to search the old way? Which I just like talking to people, I guess. Currently, uh, I guess I'm just not doing anything. Like, I'm just, like, kind of focusing yeah. on myself, you know, kind of stuff. Right. Um, so stuff like that. Making content. Right. Um, when I say, like, I think, like, the best things happen on accident most of the time. Like, so yeah. I, uh, one time I stubbed my toe on the corner of a couch, and that sure wasn't on purpose. <laughs> I thought it was broken. So I think, well, actually, <laughs> what did you, uh, did you take, like, a lot of the, to, to a lot of the worst and company things happen on accidents, too. <laughs> Uh, I should have, <laughs> but I would I would argue that a lot of the worst things also happen on accident. Correct. Yeah, yeah but Obama Young. that's a. Nuts. In fact, that's as nuts. someone who tends to think things through, I'd say all of the Could worst things that have happened to me in my life have <laughs> been on accident. Tended to not be very planned out by me. Um, they were very much accidental. This is this is a tough game. I don't think we should be losing. 
Um, I didn't plan for my one of my best friends to move away in the tenth grade. I'm sorry. All the way to Iowa. I also did it. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> sorry. Um, if you were really my friend, you would have convinced your parents to stay. <laughs> have you had any horror and not accept this emotions? Jesus. Uh, no. I wouldn't. Wouldn't say horror experiences. Just like you have to say, that's a big I think it's went out with someone uh, and just very quickly discovered. I'm kind of bored and not that into this, and now I just kind of have to ride out the night. You know, I think you realize how boring majority of people are. Yeah. I guess <laughs> it is hard. I also don't have a ton of experiences actually, like turning matches into anything. Partially because I am not looking for much, and also partially because I must reiterate that there's zero game whenever it comes to me trying to start a conversation with a stranger. What is your what's over your, message? What's your opener? Uh, I don't have like a go-to opener. Like basic Usually, it, it'll yeah, it'll be something. So if you want to give me a a theoretical account. What's their bio? What do I see on it? And mm. I'll tell you how I would open with them. And it'll <laughs> you'll understand why I'm okay. slang. Okay. Do I have to include pictures? Or can it just be, like, uh, the text? I mean, nah. I, we, like, we can, I can just assume that it's someone okay. um, that I'm attracted to. Because if you describe okay. someone that I'm not attracted to, then All right. we would ask why I even swiped in the first place. Okay. It says, John 3.16. <laughs> then, it, then it leads into uh it says coral but it's like really spelled out so you know it's from the walking dead um okay and then it's <laughs> then it uh then it has her shoe size in. it has her shoe size yeah what is her shoe size 12 Oh, oh no. Yeah. I'm going to be masked later for sure. Yeah. Probably. Um so that's the that's the whole bio. Uh yes, and by her pictures you can obviously tell that she's above 6 foot tall. She's above 6 foot. Above 6 foot. All right, extra emasculated. We can't have that. Um but I'm a confident guy, which is why I swiped right on her anyways. Right. Um that was was and also, someone who is unlike, religious. <laughs> I was gonna say, unlike religious people, I'm not here to lecture people uh, on their faith and, and tell them why I'm right. When did we go down five one? So what I would, I don't know. What? So it what was I would three one, wasn't it? Is look up what John three sixteen is and then try to poke some holes into it and let her know where she got it wrong. Um, that might be hard because I think John three sixteen is a Stone Cold Steve Austin. Thing. It's Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> I think it's like that. <laughs> I, and the, I mean, if, it, if Stone Cold Steve Austin is involved, my opener is going to be me messaging her to tell her something along the lines of, okay, it's not. I didn't believe in God until I saw you. Um, dude, how did he score five goals? I swear Stone it was three. I thought the last goal he scored was with Rashford. And it was three. We were down 3-1. What? Yeah, I don't know. Am I, like, really I, I knew confused? that once we were back on to... Because I had the same reaction whenever I saw the 5 1. I knew that us having conversations would, like, while be detrimental doing this to would this, definitely. But, um, yeah. But, like, the actual quality I didn't think of our game. EA, EA would. I don't think we would forget two goals. That's, like, pretty. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? So, uh, do you think that I. Do you think she. First off, does she even respond? To my message, I no. didn't believe in God until I saw you. Okay, well, that's sick. You know, Unless you put like an emoji <laughs> in there, or maybe like an incredible. Uh, 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 what's the, uh, eggplant, eggplant, eggplant. Does she respond? 
Yes. Nice, good improv. Okay, that's the end. <laughs> uh, okay, I did find well, John, John 3.16 is uh, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have well, eternal life. So that just is like saying that heaven is kind of a thing. My, I like glossed over as soon as you started talking. <laughs> it pretty much is saying that like if you believe in Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you don't uh, have to repeat it. Okay. All right. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was a pastor in a previous life. So. Oh, wow. Um, I'm pretty well, sure. It's a shame how you turned out. I was about to make a really poor altar boy joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really poor taste. But I didn't I think we make get the it. Idea. I didn't make it. Hooray to me. Kempembe's. I'm going to have to watch the goals back. I do not think we can see the six goals. It has to have happened at some point. No, um, I guess. All right, give me a scenario, and I will give you a scenario. All right, one um, picture, three things in the box. One picture, three things in the box. Okay, so probably so. It's uh, a lady at the gym is the picture, and it's a like a a candid shot of her doing a deadlift. And it's more than you can do. You can you note that immediately. So you it's clock like, it. It's, it's five hundred pounds. Yeah, I assume that's just barely over what you can do. Yeah, it's pretty much. Hey, well, it's like <laughs> it's exactly, all the ladies listening. But yeah, it just in case you know, I got some hammies on me. Yeah. Um, and then the three things in the bio. Uh, <laughs> he did score. He scored two goals in like four minutes. I might have just like not been. Therefore, I'm gonna do something really fun. <laughs> I'm gonna pull up my Tinder right now and find three things for this bio. <laughs> um, okay, so first one what is, is better is, than the picture? Gym. The picture is a candid gym shot. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. He, here are the three things. This is great. Uh. The first thing is it says a chill, goofy girl. Uh, and then an emoji with the tongue sticking out and the eyes are not on the same level. Okay. I love Next my line cross says, hit me up. And it's a peace sign. And then the third thing is her Instagram. Okay. So I'd probably... Okay. What I would do, I'd go to her Instagram. I would okay. scroll down until a picture of one of her grandparents. Hmm. And I, most people only post their grandparents when they die. And so I would be like, sorry for your loss. Uh, your grandma Betty must have been a wonderful lady. Can you let me pipe? Okay. Her? And that would be my opener. What, what was that last? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. Did you say pipe? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that is... Uh, no, in all, in all honesty, I'd, I'd probably do the first part, uh, cause I just like, again, but I, because like bio, which would she put her Instagram in her bio, she didn't want me to find out about her dead grandparents. It's a compelling argument. Yes. Um, and that, <laughs> I'm, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm having trouble with some of this. <laughs> So I just, I'm going to kind of out loud <laughs> work my way through this. <laughs> so, there is... Like, at what point... How far back do you think is too far where you would say... She has to be I'm not going to message you. No. no. <laughs> not... <laughs> I'm glad that that is... <laughs> it's good that you said that answer. <laughs> <laughs> what I was <laughs> trying to say is how far <laughs> back, like, say you go back and three years ago she has a picture with her grandparents. Do you still use the message? Yeah. Probably. Okay. And if so, so I guess if that's a yes, how far back would it have to be where you think? I need to pivot and not message her about her dead grandmother. I'd probably just wait until her next grandparent died. 
Okay. <laughs> so, does that mean <laughs> you... <laughs> wow. Uh, you... That was a stumper, wasn't so you it? Just, <laughs> you just sit on the, the swipe for however long that takes? Yeah. And also then with that, is there any duration of time in which you would maybe feel... And does this also maybe depend on the person's Mane. looks, whether or not you need to speed that process up? Mane. Yes, I think it's very dependent on that. Okay. Um, so, say this is, this is. Uh, we'll work our way through it. Say this is like someone. It's like nine out of ten, very good looking. Okay. Also, also one more thing, I'd probably be like, I yeah, bet you could if your grandma's coffin by yourself. That would probably be my. <laughs> I'd like to take it back. Okay. Be, you could she, be the single pallbearer. You could be, normally there's six pallbearers. You could be the only. If you could live the 500 pounds. So. Okay. But so, let's say that, you know, you match with this person, you check their Instagram, you see that their grandparents, or the, their grandmother passed away, but it was 10 years ago. So you say, okay, I'm going to wait for the next one. And this person... That's insane. So. That, that was not the greatest decision, but... Yeah. Uh, we'll say, again, this this person's like a 9 out of 10. What do you... How long do you wait before you think, I need to speed this process up and maybe artificially uh, end their, their grandfather? <laughs> I... Um, <laughs> that, that's a good one. Uh, I think. And a goal here. No surprise that the first of the night. Probably like two weeks. Two weeks. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's it. Because I tried to leave some room because I was then going to ask, how long do you wait if this person is a 10 out of 10 smoke show, best looking person you've ever seen? Oh, a lovely ball. Probably buy a plane ticket. Very alert, defending to put a stop to the chance. <laughs> what if? Okay, that makes it sound like my my tender is, I guess, really far set up. <laughs> I guess maybe the grandparents are farther away. True. I, don't know. I guess, I guess that works. <laughs> what would be <laughs> your your strategy? Do you think in terms of like? I'd probably take a book out of Tom, their uh, Tom Cruise's page. Tear off their arms with your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a now. Uh, <laughs> or did I? Well, yeah, that that's exactly. The yeah, yeah. The okay. <laughs> uh, is yeah. there? Do you practice the on any? Like, how do you strengthen your teeth to be able to manage human Going flesh? Uh, fuck ton of bubble gum. Boss. Okay. Yeah. Preferred brand. The I, you know the line. cubes, like the little ice cubes. I think they're called ice yeah, cubes. Yeah. Those, that's my favorite kind. They have a really that's good. That's a rapper. Th <laughs> I'll see what I, I will also see what ice cube is up to. Okay. <laughs> no, no, that's my favorite kind. How about you? Well, on the verge of hearing the halftime whistle, and of... mostly. <laughs> wait, wait which, which question is the bubble that you <laughs> What's your favorite goal? <laughs> uh, can I be honest with you? Yeah. I don't know if I've chewed gum. Uh, at least since ninth grade, and possibly That's not insane. even since I've been in college. That's insane. I literally. Like I'm chewing them nonstop, and he's just pulled off but that's like really that's to do with like there. the, the ADP stuff. Brilliant. Like I like grind my teeth a lot. Uh, yeah. So like I chew gum to not now, grind my teeth. So, here. um, so the that's insane. Yeah, no, I you've gotten that long without through. gum. Yeah, not a big gum guy. Yeah. Um, I would uh, not I put that in your tender body. Further apart from you, like well, spiritually. Sorry. No, um. No, but I think I think that's a good well, conversation a good for how I would kill but a potential girlfriend, grandpa. Surely. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then also, because we we were on there, I'm just curious. So two nil now. 
Because it, it sounds like you. I honestly didn't press anything. I just my guy just fell over. <laughs> so as an avid gum chewer, it's that you must have pretty high like teeth confidence in terms of your, your strength, your ability to chew. Yes. Um, first question. How quickly do you think you could chew off a man's arm? Um, oh, that's unlucky. That's also unlucky. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, I think it's a lot harder than you would think. So probably like at least a yeah. day or two. Yeah. Yeah. I I think that's a safe answer. Yeah. I, How about you? Also, I have a uh, really small mouth. Like, like super small mouth. Yeah. So that would be. I mean, realistically, I don't. I don't think I could probably chew someone's arm off, mentally. But if we're getting ourselves over that block, or like we're putting ourselves in a a scenario where it's it's life or death. I have to chew off this person's arm. I don't know. I feel like I could get through it. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. I think an hour or two. And I, yeah, underway. I think you should put that in your tender bio. <laughs> I could shoot through a man's <laughs> arm in an hour or two. Yeah. The second question that I, I had. I think you would for get you? a lot of people like questioning it. You'd get a Keeping lot of like responses. Well, would be like, that's challenge. yeah, that's odd. Um, uh, the second question that I had for you. I'm going to forego because I, I can't figure out a normal way to ask it. <laughs> or it might also be a really bad developing. question <laughs> to the extent that I don't even know if I would ask you it if we were offline. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just... Uh, okay. All right. It's going to be condemned to so the... So am I the only one that has to say the boy that I would kill someone's grandfather <laughs> with <laughs> well, it might still work out. I mean... <laughs> For a 10 out of 10, I would. Yeah, I mean, like, who would? Kill it? someone's grandfather in an instant. Yeah. Maybe not in an instant. Like yeah, two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. I'll, I'll go two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're two weeks ahead of me, because you said that uh, on I did, a I 9 did, out of I 10. Did, I did. But also, like, so, what's right, the, when's the last time you saw a, a 9 out of 10? Like, I think that's pretty rare. Well, he's playing really well today. That was another decent attempt. I, I don't. I mean, that's a weird question because even though I was the one who posed it this way, I, I don't usually look at someone and like evaluate them on a number because scale. Immediately. I still remember the thing that when we were kids, your brother explained to me about like it was, <laughs> you like it was, assign yeah, points a, to like a point kind of things <laughs> yeah there, there was there was a very <laughs> mathematical <laughs> way of determining yeah or like where to be fair, should uh, end up your brother like i guess like had some grace about him because he did give a lot of a lot of points to personality that that was the bulk of it to his yes, it was like seven extent. points personality and then like a point each yeah. for like the three major and into the last I think like face <laughs> the three like face uh like, really like uh, the tits and hats. i think he gave a point to each so yeah. like to be fair i think <laughs> your brother's a saint so he explained this to like 12 year olds <laughs> i don't so <laughs> as someone who, who has lived 22 years with my brother i can assure you he is far from a saint. <laughs> um, I think even as he has physically matured, <laughs> I would maybe... I'll, nah, I'll, I'll give him credit. I, I'll say that he would still grant seven points towards first. You, know. <laughs> you don't think so, that's... But yeah, it was, it's it was a mathematical... Mathematical um, way of determining what... I'm surprised he didn't win a Nobel someone would actually Prize be off of that. Eccentric goalkeeping. Maybe I wouldn't bit. say that again. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't win like a Nobel Peace Prize for coming up with that Kieran system. Oh, like it is. A... Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't. I don't know if it was his original work or something that he passed along. Martinelli. Right, but I think like because my brother, 
He has passed Excellent along plenty of valuable go. knowledge to me in my time. I remember uh, whenever we first entered high school, they had some sort of... And across the touch line, so a throw in here. Uh, I forget the word, but... Well, what a great save that was to keep them in this. <laughs> like, basically they brought in they need, as they all the people who were today. going to be going to our high school. This was uh, at some point over the summer before the school had started, probably shortly before. And they sort of show you around and... Like orientation? Orientation, that's the word. I couldn't think of it yeah. to say <laughs> Like, I was trying to figure out how to describe what an orientation was. And that word sums it up. So yeah, it was orientation. And they were giving it to or doing whatever. My brother dropped, or he was meant to drop me and my friend Elliot off for it. But whenever we got there, the there everyone the sort of there getting ready to go on to their the tour. And my brother just kind of asked us if Champions we wanted an abridged version <laughs> so that we wouldn't have to go <laughs> on the long tour and and it was really your brother's whatever just didn't icebreakers. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that was it too. But also, like, he didn't just skimp and do nothing. Uh, the hi big highlight that stuck out to me was he gave us pointers on where, like, the where, who, and what of how we could get drugs if we needed them. <laughs> just in case. Just in case a young 13 year old boy wants, you know. Right. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I, I definitely, I mean, I didn't feel like I missed out on much by not listening to the, the teachers walk us around the school. And if anything, I did feel like I had a leg up right, like. on everyone. <laughs> Especially because he, the big piece of advice that he had was don't, don't eat lunch in the courtyard. That's where all the weird kids ate. Yeah, exactly. No, there was. Like I don't know if this was before your time or after. Well, the action underway once more. But no of uh, there was a kid who. This was one of the courtyard kids. Not to. Not to make it out like they were all like this kid. Because obviously, you can't all be like this kid. But there was a kid who wore a trench coat a lot. <laughs> and had a pentagram on his car, and then purposefully like drove down another car of students and i think that was i don't think he killed anyone but i think that was past my time he did mess someone up like maybe put them in a wheelchair for oh no i remember this uh that was like right yeah. before i left it was a girl right Wasn't it? yeah yeah I, I yeah believe so. it was uh, i'm pretty sure I guess I have a 50-50 shot in that, but I do remember something about that. Up all the and it was like yeah. right before I left, so I never really, I don't think I ever found any out about that or really heard yeah. about it again. I honestly, for as big as that sounds of an occasion, I never really heard anything about it either. That's like, so it is very. <laughs> that's so tough that, way that to is draw. A tough way to lose. That is a tough way to draw. Draw. I don't think there's anything yeah, I can do there. I think I, if I try to I slide, also, I just take that. Despite being there all four years, I feel like I never heard it thoroughly discussed. And whenever it was discussed, it wasn't never really discussed at length. So I don't know if that was just swept under the rug masterfully by the people working at our school, but I never got the details on it. Yeah, that's... uh. That's awful, but um, <laughs> yeah, not as bad as the loss we just had. <laughs> or draw. All I guess right. it's a draw. Maybe well, it is a little. This or, is uh, cut by that, far. Cut that, cut that, cut that. This has been uh, <laughs> by far our our most out of bounds episode. So <laughs> <laughs> I I enjoyed it. Um, so, yeah, me too. It's, it's a good one. It's a long got, one. Yeah, we got two games out of that. Uh, two not good games i guess <laughs> yeah um so that is going to be it for this one uh yeah i'm sean and i'm ethan and we have been sliding blind into dating apps uh, thank and you. a lot else <laughs> thank you for listening <laughs>